Our next guest has made a career out of the suffering of some of our favorite celebrities, including Conan O'Brien, Serena Williams, and Billie Eilish, just to name a few, putting them through a gauntlet of progressively spicy chicken wings while answering some heated questions. And soon, Sabrina Carpenter will also take on the so-called Wings of Death Challenge. Let's take a look. All right, I'll go where you Cheers. go. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> Anyway, get to the water. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is poison. And you. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on, man. Are we doing this or not? <laughs> what the? Their reactions are priceless. Sean Evans, host of Hot Ones, is here for a spicy discussion about the latest season of the show. Welcome, Sean. Thanks so much for having me. Where are the wings? I thought I was going to be testing, you know, you know taste I just, testing. I put on this nice suit for you out of respect for the institution, <laughs> okay. Lindsay. You know, I didn't want to mess it up. But I see you have the sauce. In, yes, so we, we have the sauce. So that's, that's the important thing. All right, so how do you do it? Sit there cool as a cucumber while guests are, are crying their eyes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you know, when you're hosting a show and you're playing point guard on a production, you know, you have a lot of plates spinning. You have to create this rhythm, create this chemistry, this sense of trust with someone that you're meeting for the very first time. So I think a lot of that keeps my mind off of the general discomfort that I have eating the wings. But also, I've done it now for almost 10 years yeah. and eaten over 3,000 chicken wings for the Internet's amusement. So I guess I've grown to uh, develop develop a familiarity with the pain. So I guess you're not ever ordering chicken wings out at a restaurant. <laughs> no, when I'm off the clock, <laughs> these are dead to me and never again after this, but it is kind of a telltale heart that's always following me. You know, I go out to dinner and invariably at some point, uh, there's something coming back out from the kitchen, always sure. wings, so it's always chasing me. How have you been able to get these A-list guests to come on this diabolically <laughs> spicy show. Yeah, well, I, I think in large part it's thanks to the audience, you know? Uh, it's a big platform. Uh, if you have a movie that's coming out, if you have an album that's coming out, if you have a book that you wanna sell, uh, it's a good show to come on and talk about it. And I do think it's a naturally humanizing thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Celebrity is this thing that by definition is an unobtainable lifestyle, but we all know what it's like to die on hot sauce. So I think it <laughs> takes the person off that pedestal and uh, kind of creates a humanizing experience. Who's been able to really handle it where you said, you're tough. Well, uh, th it happens every once in a while. I would say once a season, there's someone who comes in there and just handles it better than me. Um, Halle Berry stands out in my really? memory. Yeah, she said, I'm here to eat dinner, Sean. That's what she <laughs> said to me. And then we have another one uh, coming up later on this season that also blew me away. So once a season, I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sunned by someone who's a guest. A number of people have really marveled over your questions and, and the, the research that goes into it. So yeah. what's the, the secret sauce, if you will? Well, I think it's just being motivated by the fact that I have to keep this guest engaged mm. in this show. You know what I mean? So I think if it was kind of a lazy interview, it would be harder to say, uh, all right, Lindsay, so the next wing is the bomb beyond insanity. Go ahead and take <laughs> a bite. You know, we have them jumping through hoops. I think it's only fair that we meet them halfway. And that just comes from a place of just trying to respect the guest as much as possible and respect the audience and their time as much as possible as well. So from 2015, you start this online and now you might be up for a primetime Emmy. What does it mean for you to get that kind of recognition? Well, I think it's validating to the hard work that we've done. You know, as silly as this show is on paper, we do take it very seriously. And I think that if, you know, you look at its place in culture, if you look at the size of the audience, if you look at the guests that we've had on the show, um, I do think that it's worthy of comparison. It's, it's just, uh, it's a fun and exciting time, but at the same time, the talent is crazy, so I'm not holding, you know, the highest hopes or expectations but for this. But just to get the nomination. It's, it's an honor in itself. It, do you feel like it's it's beyond time that, that these prestigious award shows actually give some some recognition to, to those online creators? Well, I do. I think you have to uh, reflect the consumer behaviors of the way that audiences are changing. And also, um, you know, 
for the next generation of showrunners, of hosts, you know, like, where is it going to come from? You know, I think in a lot of ways, these will come from YouTube, will come from non-traditional platforms. So if it's not this year, at some point, it needs to be re-examined. Uh, but I'm happy that, you know, Hot Ones is at least uh, banging on the door a little bit. Well, I hope the next time you'll bang on our door with some wings. I'd love to try <laughs> just one. Probably Lesson not learned, the Lindsay. Hottest. I'm coming back with wings. I promise you. Sean Evans, thank you so much for coming on the show. Next time, got to bring some hot wings here. And want to let our viewers know new episodes of Hot One Season 24 airs Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern on the First We Feast YouTube channel.